Hello everybody, Ruby here. I wanted to show you something, or rather show you how to use something. This is a billboard wireless controller that I bought at Family Dollar. And the manual for this is very confusing, so I wanted to make a video on how to use it properly. Because it took me a while to figure this out, and a lot of fiddling with it because the manual is not all that easy to understand. Because it seems to provide some pretty simple instructions on how to use it, and they are wrong. All right. So let's get out the manual here. First thing it says, Android use manual. At the same time, press and hold A and home for two seconds and the connector will flash and it says all this stuff here right so let's do that let's get an Android press and hold home and A until one starts flashing and then hit scan here on our Android device There we go, BBBT, and hit pair. Now I will go ahead and open a game. Specifically, Minecraft. And we'll notice immediately, the buttons aren't working properly in the menus here. Oh well, press on. We get in. The stick allows some movement and some glitchy looking. D-pad, for some reason, one of the buttons on the D-pad places things. That's because in this mode, acts sort of as a mouse and just clicks in random places on the screen. So let's go back to the manual here. Way over at the end, there's this chart, operational usage mode. Under Android, we see Android V3 game mode, which specifically says, you use this to play downloaded games from the Android market, AKA the Google Play Store nowadays. But what's this over here? Android standard game mode. Play arcade games. Well, despite what you would think, hold on a second here. Despite what you would think, this mode, which is activated by holding home and X, again, the same app as needed message. But, just look now, in this mode, when we pop back over to Minecraft, our buttons work in the menu. Well, what did you know? And in this mode, it is actually acting like a game controller. Which, mind you, many, if not most, of the games you'd be playing from the Play Store will support. Now, let's move on to iOS. So here we have iOS use manual. Press and hold Y and home for two seconds. Okay. And again, we have BBBT. And we select yeah, and we'll pair. Now, let's go open Minecraft. Again, button's not working in the menu. 
And when we load into a world, Sorry, this isn't exactly the newest iPhone. Super glitchy stuff going on, just sort of flashing around, you know, same deal as Android under the proper usage. So. Let's go again back to our diagram. V3 game mode. Again, specifically says play games downloaded from the App Store. But again, here we have iOS game hall mode. X plus home. Play arcade games. Well, let's give that a shot. Shut the controller off. And this time we're holding home and B. Until four starts flashing. And this time it doesn't show up as BBBT. It shows up as DualShock 4 wireless controller. Pop back into Minecraft. And what do you know? It's working properly and showing PlayStation icons. Neat. But there is one more thing that this controller can do that's sort of hinted at in the manual, but it never explicitly tells you how to do it. See that? PS3 game host wireless connection. Well, let me just do a little setup real quick and I'll show you how to do it, except it isn't PS3. It's PS4. Now, let me show you how it's done. So, we're going to go to settings, and then to devices, and Bluetooth devices. You can see my regular DualShock 4 showing up there. Well now, let's put this into the iOS game hall pairing mode. And we see DualShock 4. And we will select yes. And it'll ask me to log in. So, I'll tell it to take over. And now you'll see that it's working. Oop, it just freaked out. No matter, it'll do this every time you first pair it. Simply reconnect. and it will start working again. And we can see that we can even pop into games. Again, not the newest technology. It's gonna take a minute. And it will work. The only caveat being it doesn't have a uh, touchpad. Anyways, I hope this was informative. And if you happen to buy one of these $20 controllers at your local family dollar, I hope this taught you how to properly use it 
and maybe even how to do some things with it you didn't think you could. Bye!